Hi guys, welcome back to Nygma 7 7 Review. So today I've decided to test out one of the palettes. So guys, I thought I would try and test out this palette. Obviously I've bought it, I've swatched it, I've not tested it. So I don't really know how it refers to other like branded um, palettes that I've used in the past. So guys, I have actually primed my eyes. As you know, I put my makeup on first. I never just do my eyes first and then makeup. Don't work for me that way never has. I do it this way because this is the way I feel comfortable with. And if I do get it all over here because I use black, I will just go over it. It's not a big deal. So guys, because of the shades are very, very dark, I'm going to try and keep this look quite dark. Um, I, I'm used to having dark makeup on anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. But I'm going to start off with um, maybe a medium colour if I can find a decent brush just to pat that on. My brushes are absolutely, guys, I am not joking, they are really dirty. I really should have cleaned them before coming on. Right, I've got this Boohoo that I got from Gina as well. So I'm just trying to think what shades I should go for as like, I might go for this Create, because I am going to use the balance without a doubt. So I might try this Create and see how we go with that as like a base. Uh, so that's the powder. I'm just going to go above my crease, guys, because I do have what we call very sunken eyes. I've got a mirror here, so I'll probably use this mirror rather than the one in front of me. No, I don't like looking at the side. I like to look head on, but then you're not seeing what I'm doing. So I will just do it from here. So it's like a medium greeny shade. I just want to see how well these blend in. I've seen so many positive reviews about this palette and many other palettes that VE Cosmetics do. I was just intrigued. I'm not confident at makeup, guys, even though I am qualified at makeup. I did it years ago. I've always done my makeup to suit me. Um, I know the right way and the wrong way. I do it my way and... That's that. <laughs> so guys, I'm just gonna... It blends in quite nice, guys, to be honest with you. And it feels quite silky. I kind of like this. This brush is quite nice as well, guys. This is the Boohoo brush. It's quite soft. The bristles are really nice and soft. As you can see, it's blending in rather nicely. I kind of like that color, guys. That's the Create. It's like a khaki green kind of colour. It's kind of colour that you'd see on a khaki pair of trousers. I'm just going to do one eye on guys. I'll do the other eye off camera because it just takes too much time to do on camera. And some parts I may speed up, some parts I may not. So that's quite nice as a base colour. I haven't decided what colours I'm using guys. I am just winging it. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like that. I mean, I have got this mirror as well, so I can see. It looks a little bit patchy there. I'm just gonna, just gonna pack it in here and then just blend it out. There we go. That's quite nice. So I've never really worn green, guys. So this is the first for me, put green on. I don't think I've ever, in my entire 42 years of living, put green on my eyes. Right, so, I kind of like that, but then you've got to figure out what you're going to put with that. I mean, I started dark and I'm going darker. Is that a mistake? I don't know. Some of this I may pack on my fingers because sometimes it packs on better with your finger. I'm just trying to figure out now where to go. Obviously for my outer, I'm going to stick with black. I'm just going to go with this eye detailer. In fact, no, I won't. I will go with this chic smoke it eye and see how we fur with this black so we've got two blacks we've got a do um no we're not yeah we've got a believe and we've got a do the do is quite dark so i'm just going to go with the believe because i can always go on top with the other one so as you can see it packs really nice color you're going to get that with black anyway and i'm just going to pack in just here guys Oh, it's quite nice, this brush. And that black's quite nice. I'm just going to pack it in just on the inner and just around here. I think my husband's playing um, 
games on the PC. I can hear a car revving like a computer game. I'm just going to try and keep it in line like so. That's kind of nice. And then I'm just going to blend this out. Just in the corners. Hmm. I think my husband's definitely playing something like Forza or something. So I'm just going to go back into the create again and just go back over there. Obviously it's darker on the outer. Now usually on the inner I would keep my eyes quite light. I do really like I do really like this glittery dark colour because that is that is really dark but I am going to keep with the dark green which is the balance. I'm going to try and put a little bit of brown. So what I might do guys is go back in with this brush back into that believe and I'm just going to go just in the crease with the black just in the crease so it's just giving me a balance of black but don't worry about this bit here because I will cut crease that to go over with the dark green but it's a dark green so it would probably go over that anyway hmm now the only problem is the black is monopolizing that green in this area so I'm just going to go back over the top with that green again That's it, blend the two together. Very dark, very, very dark. But I am gonna darken out this bit with the Embrace, which is the glittery black. But for now, I really need to go in with this dark green. And then I will blend more of it out when it's all together. Trying to find a brush that I haven't used. It's very difficult. <laughs> right, I will use this Profusion. Um, I don't think I've used this one yet. Pardon me guys, um, I'm going to go in with the balance now which is that really dark green. They are slightly powdery guys, but dark colours usually are quite powdery. As long as you tap out the majority of it. And then I'm just going to... I could do with being able to see. Right, two minutes guys, I'm just going to pack that dark green. I was going to cut crease it guys but I thought it's dark anyway so it probably will just go over. Oh it is dark. It's quite nice that green actually guys. I'm just going to make sure I take it half. Just halfway over. Because I'm going to put the sparkly black on the outer V of the eye. Now usually I would do the lighter on the inner V of the eye but I don't know, I just fancy something different. Plus, this palette is impressing me up to now. I kind of like the pigmentation of the colours. Um, two minutes, guys, I need to get tissue. It's very, very cold in here, which is making my nose run for some reason, but I've got the heater on. Hoping not down the cold. But, um, yeah, I kind of like it. I don't know what I'm going to go for the top. Maybe a bit of a silver or this accept, which is kind of really loud and glittery so hmm we'll see right so now I really want to go in with that black now I'm going to try and use a black brush that I've been using throughout which is this one which is my Morphe it's a small detailer brush now I would probably use the, oh right this might be better being packed on my fingers guys but let's just see how it goes oh my lord that is silky and very very nice I kind of like that 
these colours are not for everybody. Um, I like gothic colours. I've always liked gothic colours. I've always kept my makeup quite dark. Oh, I really do. I really do like that. So I've only gone there. Obviously, I'm going to go back in and just blend out that bit here. Oh, it's really pretty. So I've gone with a green, black, and then a lighter green. So I'm just stepping it up. I'm going back in with that Create again. And I'm just going to go back above the crease just to pack that back in because obviously the black takes over a little bit. Now normally I put tape here guys. I've been very lazy today. I've not put any tape on. But I can easily get rid of that. This hair's getting on my nerves. Go away. I can easily just dab that out, which is what I do at the end. Before I go underneath, I will just go over that and straighten it all out. Obviously, I still want to go in with that black. Just get back in over the top of that. That is so pretty, guys. I'm just going to take it right to the edge. How pretty is that? It's very, very pretty. So now with this eye detailer, I'm going to go in with this except. I don't know how this will fare because this is quite like jellyfied. But let's just see. I don't know if I should use some kind of glue for this to stay on. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go over it with the R which is quite a silky silver and just take it <sighs> hmm yeah it's very I could do this with my fingers guys actually I might be better doing it with my fingers I'm just trying to punch in that silver let me just try and do it with my fingers guys because it's quite you see what I mean? When you do it with your fingers, it tends to stick better than the brush. Don't worry about any that I've gone over. I will blend all that out. This is um, a silk, creamy texture, as the others are all kind of, kind of, kind of matte. Now I'm just going to pack that there. Oh, it's quite loud, isn't it, guys? So let me just make sure that that is blended in. And then just blend it down into the corner. And then I'm going to go in again with my Create. Just go back over the top to join it together. That's quite nice guys. They really do complement each other. The shades in this. Obviously I'll need to neaten up this area here and I'll need to go underneath. But that's so far so good guys. Um, I will try and get some of this except on there because it doesn't seem to stick very well onto the um, brush but sticks better to your finger and it is just like a glitter bring that back in so it's not going over the top okay I may have to just go over my eyebrow a little bit where I've gone over I kind of like that I'm going to go under with maybe the green as well so I will need a really small detailer brush I think this detailer brush would have been better to go under my eyes let me just give it a wipe so all that glitters off so I'm going to try and go under with this green I'm going to go under with the balance just to balance it out um, I'm just going to use this mirror guys Just 
just join that in there. So it's like you're joining the outer with the um, the under eye, even though you've done the green on the inner. Now I will have to go over my makeup because it is quite powdery. Wow, very dark. I'm just going to go over just a little bit more. Just make sure I'm going completely on the in. That is lovely. I do really like the balance colour. I'm just going to go over the top with the detailing brush because you can just get in right close to the top of your lid. And you see how now I'm packing the green on top. It's kind of shining. Oh, it is very, very powdery, guys. I am not tapping at my brush. It's my own fault. As you can see, it's not a problem because I will just go over all that. I do need to go over certain areas. So guys, that is one eye. I'm going to go off because it's going to take too long. Come back and we'll finish this off. So back in a jiffy, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm going to speed up the next bit. We're going to finish the eyes off. I have gone over with my makeup, as you can probably tell. So next bit is going to be fast forward. And then we'll slow it back down and we'll discuss what I think of this palette overall. Okay, guys. Back in a jiffy. gone past halfway i'm going to finish off this look with the obvious color lipstick so green it is now this lipstick does dry your lips quite a lot i would usually use a lip gloss over the top or a lip balm whichever you choose i have got this the unicorn goo and this as well it's from ve cosmetics and i've got my revolution topper which is quite matching with the bits of lighter colours. So guys,
done and a lot of it is because I am allergic to pewter and a lot of this jewellery has pewter in it including the necklace that I'm wearing which I absolutely love that I got from um, Simply, um, Simply Spooky I love it but I get irritated after a few hours of having it on my neck so guys <laughs> I'm very very green green indeed let's take this clip off let's pull this right down you can't really see the earrings let's pull this right down so guys can I get any darker than what I've done so I have tested the whole darker shades of the grimoire and this is a VE Cosmetics this is completely vegan and it's against animal cruelty it is what I would call a dark gothic palette the colour that I've got on my eyes is kind of colours that I wear quite often when I go out I don't go wearing these colours on a daily basis because you know I'm a mum I've got a good school you do get looked at you do get looked upon um, as being different when you go to school in such tap I mean I've gone to school on this week before I've been stared at I've been looked at kids have stopped and won um, I've gone in gothic clothing before where kids have been like and it's like what's wrong with you people do you know what I mean it's this this is it's it's real do you know what I mean it's it's makeup it's not it doesn't change who I am as a person just because I've got this attire on my face but guys going back to the palette um, so what do I think honestly about it I absolutely love it it is slightly powdery I will admit because they are quite dark shades and um, I'm not a fond of the the glittery too much I think with this kind of um, texture you're best off using your fingers guys because a brush just digs into it too much you get a lot of product that's left onto the brush and it's a waste I'm just trying to get that back on there because there is lots on this brush and it's a waste so if you're going to use such thing as this and this and this and any other shimmers that are in there that are quite like liquidy in a sense it's hard to explain um it just it's like silk it just it just comes off so easily and i think when applying that it's best applied on such thing as your fingers because it attached better to the skin of your fingers rather than the bristles of a brush the makeup tends to go in between the bristles and then it doesn't apply the same way as it would on your finger so for such colors and textures like that i would say your finger is the best but i did use the the Create as a base colour, loved it. It was really, really nice. It blended in beautifully. Very minimal fallout, really, from that. The fallout that I got most of was probably the black and the, the dark green. So the balance and the belief were quite dark, powdery, but only slightly powdery. I have had a lot worse when it comes to powdery eyeshadows. Even the best top-notch eyeshadows do have powdery kind of substance in it. But the colours on this is absolutely amazing. As you can see, the pigment is great. This colour, which is R, I mean, to me, it looks like a silver, but I think once you apply it and this one, you get the like the hint of green that runs through it, like a metallic green. As you can see, when it's blended together, it is amazing. I actually went in my inner with the Accept. Um, it is still quite dark. You could brighten that up with maybe a brighter silver if you've got that. I do have that, but I thought I'm just going to test the whole palette. Um, I didn't use any other palette today apart from this one, so I stuck to the VE Cosmetic palette in its in itself. You could have changed this, guys. You could have gone in with the Yourself or the Ham or the Magic as base colours just to keep that lighter tone, and then gone in with the In or maybe use the Create as more of the the basic colour but I did use this colour the balance on the inside because I absolutely love this green with this hair it is lovely I would probably only wear these shades if I was wearing this wig but all in all guys that palette is amazing just remember the shimmery glittery ones are quite loose um, the brushes that I used, which were from the range, are really, really good. I was I was happy. And the Boohoo brushes really do pack on colour. They're brilliant. I did use the Bella, uh, the Bella Pro as well. That was good. 
and as you've seen what I use for the rest of my face so this is my finished look guys I'll let you have a look and see what you think it blended in super easily guys um there are a mishmash of colors in there to be honest with you but I like this look it's pretty I just don't think I would go out on an everyday look with this I would probably tone it down a little bit um you are bound to get some looks if you was to go out with maybe that green lipstick on i don't know um but yeah i like it i'm just gonna try and clip that in this would look nice if i could just clip that under here i'm just trying to how pretty is that guys more of like a vintagey kind of look i think my other hand is upstairs so i can't do it with my other one but guys, all in all, the palette is amazing. Sorry it took a long, long time to finish this video. We had a few complications along the way. I have had to do all over my makeup. I would say, I probably would recommend doing your eyes first before you put your makeup on. Uh, I know I said I do it that way, but I think with such colours like these, I probably would just put that on first and then go in after with um my foundation and so and this is the foundation that i use guys it was the fear for era 24 hour wear and it's a natural look it's very very nice it's not too dark it's not too light this clip is doing my head in but you get you get the gist you get the gist of what it looks like i kind of like it all right guys that is my um grimoire the ve cosmetics i can't imagine any of the shades being any different i may create another look in the future with this palette but um i will try and use this palette a lot more when i go out to such places like the gothic bars that i go to lipstick does dry super super fast but i would say use a topper on top just to keep that nice moisture kind of feel otherwise it's going to be very very dry and if you like me if you don't like your lips too dry it will irritate you all right guys thank you for watching put your comments on below tell me what you think is this too dark or is it is it kind of right for the gothic kind of um alternative look that i i tend to go for all the time because this is like a natural thing it's a lot darker i suppose in a sense but i think i suit dark colors because of my eyes are blue i don't know Anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.